Hello and good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Um, join us for this morning's live Zoo to You as we check in with our Otter family. My name is Lexi. I am an educator here at the Stone Zoo. And of course, the stars of our show, our Otter family, who has been a very, very popular group to see this summer. So we thought we would check in on them and see what they have been up to over these past few months. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to put those in the chat and I will try my very best to answer those at the end. So, of course, we are looking at our North American River otters and they're kind of spread out throughout the exhibit, but we do have four otters in here. We have Mom Duncan, who is right here in front. And she is, of course, a first time mom and is four years old. She came to us from the Roger Williams Zoo back in 2020 and had three babies back back in February, on February 16th. Now, otters will live around eight to nine years in the wild and up to 21 years in human care. But throughout AZA, or Association of Zoos and Aquarium Facilities, who do have otters, um, they've found that their median age range for otters is around 12 years old. Now, these babies made their debut on exhibit back in May, at the end of May. And of course, I mentioned back at the beginning, they were born in February. So they are just over seven months old now. And I'll tell you what, it's getting pretty tricky to tell them apart from Duncan. But you can see very, very clearly in this video that Duncan is very active. She is very engaged in what is going on around her. So that is kind of my trick to you for how to spot Duncan apart from the babies. Now, let's highlight those babies. There are three of them. Otter babies are known as kits. We might be familiar with cats being called kittens, dogs being called puppies. Otter babies are called kits. And there is one male, his name is Gary, and there are two females. One female's name is Bamboo, and the third one, or the third, the third kit, the second, ba or the second girl, um, we are currently, um, our zookeepers are currently working on um, a name for her. So we will let you know that name as soon as we have it. So back when they made their debut on exhibit back in May, they were weighing in at around seven pounds. And believe it or not, they have just about doubled in size. They are weighing in at around 13 or 14 pounds now. And Duncan weighs in at around 15 pounds. So they're pretty much all the same size now. It can be very, very tricky to tell them apart. Otters will be full sized when they are somewhere between 10 and 30 pounds. So it is a pretty big range. The kits could grow a little bit more. They could keep growing and outweigh Duncan eventually. But for now, they are all around the same size. Now, let's talk about what they've been up to. Got a little bit of some insider knowledge from our zookeepers who work with them every single day. And over the past seven months, they have been doing lots and lots of swimming. Of course, they've got this big pool that they like to be active in. And they do play much like siblings do. If any of you watching have siblings, maybe you are a little one yourself and you've got some siblings that you like to play with. Or maybe if you are a grown up watching, you may remember back when you were growing up playing with your siblings. They do kind of play around like that, maybe wrestling on the ground a little bit, just like typical siblings. And they do, in fact, take lots and lots of naps. They do get pretty tired. So if you are coming to visit the zoo and you're not seeing our otter family swimming in the water, 
you might want to come to the right side of our exhibit and there is this little nook right in here next to this tree. You can even see some grass and hay kind of gathered in there. That is their absolute favorite nap spot. You can often find all four of them, especially in the early afternoon, kind of snuggled up there in that area. But something that I know wakes them up just about 100% of the time is when a zookeeper comes around to feed them. So otters are carnivores and they are opportunistic carnivores, meaning that they hunt whenever they can. But living here at the zoo, our zookeepers do bring them their diet. They do eat mostly ground meat and fish here at the zoo. And they also get lots of enrichment, some things to help keep them active and engaged and curious. And some of their favorite types of enrichment are ice and crayfish, which have been really, really fun and interesting for them. And they also interact with a lot, if not all of the things in their exhibit, including rocks, and sticks and they love to bring them in their pool and swim around with them. Now I've mentioned their pool a couple of times now and one of the things that I think is the most interesting thing about otters, North American river otters for that matter, is that they will avoid polluted water. So if you are lucky enough to see a river otter in the wild in a river, a stream, a lake, or a coastal marsh somewhere here in North America, and you are lucky enough to see an otter, you are looking at some very, very clean water. So if you think that you may live near an area where an otter might like to live, maybe you live near a river or a stream, and you have not seen an otter, you might consider that that water might not be very clean. And let's talk about some ways that you can help out the otters so maybe they would like to come to that area. If you are in an area with maybe some polluted water, you could form a lake or stream cleanup team to help try to clean up that area and maybe welcome back some otters. Additionally, you could not litter. You could pick up trash around lakes and streams that way that additionally keeps the area clean. And something that I think is very interesting that we don't often consider with animals like river otters is to avoid rodenticides. So any kind of poisons that you might put out for rodents in your area could, well, of course, poison those rodents. But then animals like otters will come by to eat those rodents as they are hunters, carnivores, and they themselves will get poisoned. So, just wanted to check in and see if there are any questions. We do, and if you're watching live and still have questions, please type them in the chat. So, Anne asked, how many otters are there and what are their names again? Fantastic. So, we are looking at all four of them right here. <laughs> we have got Mom. Her name is Duncan. She's over on the left sitting up so nicely. And she is four years old. And then the three kits are just over seven months old. We have a male. His name is Gary. A female, her name is Bamboo, and we do have another female, but our zookeepers are currently working on naming her, so she doesn't have a name yet. And I have a question. So I know a lot of guests, when they come to the zoo, are surprised to see otters out swimming on really cold days, and even when there's a lot of snow and ice. So can you just talk a little bit about river otters and how they survive here in Massachusetts in those colder seasons? Absolutely. Great question. So otters are active all year round. So they don't go into any kind of hibernation and they have some really cool adaptations that help them survive in our cold, cold winters here in Massachusetts. 
specifically their really, really thick fur. So they've got two layers of fur. They've got a really thick, what we call undercoat, and that helps keep them nice and warm all winter long. And then they have an outer layer of fur that is actually waterproof, so it helps keep that undercoat nice and dry, keeping them nice and warm, and that outer coat kind of lets the water run right off of their bodies. Um, a fun fact for you is if you look at around one square inch of those little bodies, you will find around 40,000 hairs. So that just kind of helps put in perspective quite how furry they are. Awesome. Well, I'm going to leave you with one more fun fact as we see our otters out here on land. If you see a group of otters on land, they're what's called a romp. And if you see a group of otters in the water, they're called a raft. All right, and we did have one more question come in. Is the father otter of the pups at the zoo? That is an excellent question. So some of you may remember there was two otters around this time last year. We did have a male otter. His name was Sushi, and Sushi lived to be 16 years old, which is pretty old for an otter. And he did unfortunately pass away due to some health complications. And these kits were born around a week later. So his legacy does live on here at the Stone Zoo. And we've had another question come in. Okay. Um, this is from Leona. How many babies can they have at one time in a lifetime? And do they coexist with beavers? and other water animals? Oh, great question. So they will have between one and five kits at the same time. So we've kind of got an average number here right now with three. Um, so that's about how many they would have at one time. And they, I suppose, would coexist with other animals in the water specifically beavers, they would probably try to avoid one another. Um, now, I know that beavers are not carnivores, so they're not going to be trying to hunt otters. And I think beavers are a little bit too big for otters to hunt. So I am feeling like it's pretty safe to say that they're going to avoid one another. All right. Now, if you loved seeing our otters and you are wondering more about them, please feel free to check out our website and you can read more about them. And you can check out our live cam and check on them any time of day that you are wanting to see our otter family wrestling around or playing in the water. Thank you all so much for joining us today. I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday and we will see you next time. Bye.